I think what I want to do first is I kind of want to look at the replays of yesterday and go through them for a little bit. What we might have done wrong, what we did good, what they might have done good, etc. Be on Brothers for Watch Two Redeemable 2024. <laughs> Please, oh, come on, man. Yeah, that, that's that's too real. That's you're gonna scare me with that. All right, chat. Nepal. So, the cool thing about this is, if you want a frame of reference for what I'm going to say, I'm gonna to try to recall um, what our thought processes are, what our calls were, what like we were trying to accomplish in these fights, so you don't have to go back and watch the other vod. But if you don't believe me, you can always cross-reference it. So this is the first of four maps in the finals, um, which, spoiler alert, One we year. lost. Really wanted to kind of like just roll out on the same thing we've been trying, you know. Um, I think we come out actually on Sim, is it Sim Reaper or Sim Torp? Okay, no, we do sim. We actually do the the sim reaper here, um, but we're kind of a little late on the on the on the go. We're a little late on the go. First off, by the way, let me show you this cool tech really quick. Really cool tech. I had no idea this was a thing. Look at this. On showed me this. Watch this. Oh, you'll see it here in a sec. So when we make the call to go top. There's these railings on the left that kind of block the best way to have the TP. So you want the TP to be like a little bit to the left here because it gives a better straight shot up to the door. So watch this. So on swaps Brig, right? And Brig actually can reach through the door and break the pillars. This way you can walk out and come out, put the sim turret to the left. I mean, the SimTP to the left, and you get a slightly better leave. Now, unfortunately, we were all so blown away. We're like, what the fuck are you talking about? So we ended up kind of fucking up our rollout because on this patch, SimTP also gives speed. So I think we end up layering Lucio speed with Sim. Um, but that shit was fucking bonkers. This, this, was, this was the most 900 IQ shit I have ever seen. So that's how we pretty much started it off. And watch, I think, I think we're trying to explain it right now. And Chase, like, wait, what? <laughs> or no, sorry, Cyrus knew actually, but well, the rest of us are like, what the f are you talking about? So, here was the thing: <coughs> we were gonna go top, and then I think we ended up shifting the call last second. We were gonna go top, and then we shifted the call last second to go point. That's why we were in the Reaper comp because we expected them to go May of some sort because we. Got to see their last match. Uh, we didn't watch any games of anyone else's, but we were checking to see if they were done with their matches. Um, so I turned on Muma's stream. And first off, Muma was rolling. So I was like, uh oh, we're going to be in trouble. <coughs> and two, I was like, they're running Maycom. So we might might be, be on the lookout for that. So we ended up deciding to go straight to point. So... This wall, we honestly should have engaged off that wall that honestly should have been it like i think the call like somebody said like oh they used wall and we were kind of like let's go in but also at the same time let's not because we had better positioning but they had may we didn't so they were eventually would probably beat us so honestly we lost the fight right here this is where we should have made the 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 play we should have went in right here but we we kind of decided to, to to bunker up and you're going to see where this becomes a problem in a sec. So there's a sim off, so off angle on the left. I'm trying to not get charged up by the sim. But here it is. Their wall comes back online. And they make their play off it. Now, I don't die off the wall. I actually live for a good amount of time. But... I think they, Muma ends up getting a couple. Yeah, Cyrus actually gets trapped with me on the wall. So even though I'm fine, Cyrus can't live. It doesn't work. Landon does a good job of lamping Muma. So a lot of times, a lot of people don't know this, especially people that don't watch high level play. But a lot of people don't know is a lot of times BAP, especially in Rush, in old Rush, because nobody's seen a Rush meta for about six months. Lamping your Rhine while he's aggressively swinging, especially when low HP is so good because Muma can trust 
that he's not gonna die and doesn't have to hard shield and, and ends, up, ends up getting those those the free kill on that. I gotta put on the diva. Oh, we're we're very hard stabilizing here. Also, their diva just kept doing this over and over, going into our backline and, and like getting a freebie. It was crazy. How did ML just die? Right click. No, he just got literally beamed. I'm gonna watch my POV really quick because I want to kind of see how this fight kind of went. So I knew the May Wall is coming. And I figured if we survived the May Wall, we could flip the fight. Especially if I got either Muma or someone else with the pin. I didn't get Muma, I got the Diva, which was not bad, but the second wall. Oh, Jesus. I remember that second wall. That second wall sucked. That second wall sucked. But basically, that's kind of like what I meant by like playing aggressive maybe the first time. Because um, it gave them time to not only get one more wall, but two more walls on us. So that was kind of... That was that 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 sucked, Dick. That sucked. So I think this is when we, we swapped Cyrus over onto Sombra uh, to start like being a little bit more harassing because we didn't feel like we needed to go may yet like we we had felt like may wasn't that good um because Emon could do a crazy amount of 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 keeping people alive on diva with his four second flight where he could fly up over the wall or around the wall boop everybody around and fly back out without getting punished and we felt like that gave enough time so the Maywall wasn't as effective to cha change the load damage. And ML on the Moira could cleanse the freeze. So we were, we were cool with it. We were chilling. So what was the call here? Um, what was the call here? I think we're looking for if they window. Yeah, so Muma has the shatter. So by the way, I didn't tell people during, this, during the, the, the tournaments. <laughs> but a lot of people kept asking me. I told people, um, because I mentioned it a few times by mistake, Shatter is actually unblockable on um the experimental patch if you do it right. So <sighs> there's the way the shatter works somehow on the experimental, it's it's changed than normal because it's supposed to do some kind of base floor damage, like the slam part where like you hit them and does 400 damage. That changed the interaction somehow. Where if you basically shatter on top of the Rhine's head, and I'm not talking about like there's a shot where you shatter past the Rhine shield and hit the Rhine. I'm not talking about that. It's much closer. Um, and, and like closer to the oppositional side. Where basically if your your hammer hits the Rhine even through the shield, it will shatter him. So a lot of times, all hitting on it. I'll show you guys it later. Probably Havana. I can show you it really well. Havana. I I did it a few times. Um. Shatter was kind of unblockable. So, <clears throat> even though I saw Muma making the rush, he's making the play here, I actually don't try to block him because I wouldn't be able to. I decided to just... Get there, you're, you're. My team's going down to the ship, dude. So, they they pop window, we call out, we call out. I have no shield, but we, we end up calling to go back in. And then this fucking happened. This was disastrous. This was... This was the play that probably sent me back mentally for the rest of the series. This right here. This one play destroyed me for the next two maps. You know what will happen? I thought I could make the ledge. I could make the ledge. And I'd land right here on the stairs. And it would shatter up here. But instead, it hits, it somehow doesn't land here, it lands down here, and actually goes nowhere. Like, there actually is no interaction. The Shatter died on impact. Nothing, it didn't travel. It didn't move. Oh, it actually did get the Lucio. It actually did. There was, holy that is actually the smallest track. But most of the shatter dies. The most of the shatter just gets nothing. Which sucks. Absolutely sucks. And I, I explode from it. So to be honest with you, I wish I saw I got the Lucio. Because if I saw I got the Lucio, I might have actually... I might have looked at that differently. 
Because I thought about that for like 20 minutes. I'm not going to lie. I thought about that for about 20 minutes. <coughs> so, we're kind of staggering here. Um, but nothing we can really do about it. We got some percentage though, so that's good. Um, what was our call here? I think we're going to fake top force point. Was this that was? Yeah. I think we faked top force point. Translocating. But what happened? We're a little slow on the cross here. Is this where ML was talking about he was not being able to keep up? Because something happened and ML was talking about he was getting caught out behind. No, not that one. There was there was one or two that he said that he was getting caught out behind. Okay, let's watch that again. So they, we took too long on this. Like, you see how we took stutter step? Like, kind of waiting? They, they it gave them enough time to rotate. So we have to put on the D.Va. Where did she eject? Because I didn't kill baby D.Va, and this actually f***ed us so hard. Oh, she did die. She must have just come. She might have just come back in the in later on in the fight then, because that diva actually got some kills later on. Unless it's not that fight, maybe a different one. There's one where diva comes back, or it's after a bomb. We lose that fight again. It blizz. Nothing we can really do about that. Now we finally have our EMP fight. Do we go top for this one? I think we go top for this one. Don't worry, my friend. I have yeah, so the call here is just to play on them because we were trying to get them to use window. Uh, but they actually didn't have it yet. We were trying to get them to use window and then EMP the window. So normally, right, normally as a, a defensive team, this right here is kind of like... Right. This right here is like a prime situation where like the whole team is basically just walking at you in a straight line with no cover, pop window and just blow up somebody really quick. But they actually didn't have window. We were trying to bait their window really hard to EMP it and trade not only the EMP for window, but win the fight. Uh, but they didn't have it up. They were close. They were two, they were three percentage off. So that is crazy. I think, because I think they end up getting window on the next fight. And I don't think, I don't know if they use it the next fight or they stack ults. I think they stack ults. Or they just use one. There's something, this next fight they like, they, they stack ults or they don't use it. Because I remember we said like, oh, we're in trouble now. So they're trying to bait us here a little bit. Ready? Here's the bait. You see the diva go across? The bait actually made me back up enough, but like not far enough to, to get caught by the... Far enough to like bait the wall, but not far enough to get caught. Mu goes to the shutter. ML cleanses it, hit turn around, hit the reverse. That cleanse on Moira is actually so crazy. Charge cancel. Whiffed. Yeah, so they 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 use two. Sh they actually used two ults during that fight. Okay, but we used. Okay, so yeah, we 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 said we had the we said they had all four ults right now. We said that they had Diva, and then they had obviously the three that they have now. So we thought they had four ults, and we only had beat, and we were fucked. Was this the? Do we beat aggressively here? I don't, oh, this is tragic. Okay, I know how this set goes. So we basically try to be <coughs> to bait their 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 blizzard. We said let's beat in. Like we bait the blizzard back out and then beat in, but the timing was off and I fed. So we break wall. Force him, force him. So I think there was confusion. We thought we got caught by this, but I got out. I actually made it out. We hit the EMP. EMP comes out, and I, I heard the call of, like, like let's go in with beat. So I actually pinned up to get close, to get into the middle of the whole team, 
and start swinging, but the beat never came. So I just got fucking smoked. I just get absolutely smoked here. So with them all being EMP'd, my thought process here is that we're gonna get beat back and I'm gonna have four or five people getting swung on and I could probably build a whole ult just at this range, but it's literally me 1v6 right now. And then the beat comes out. So there was a miscommunication on when we were going to actually beat in aggressively. And it's probably, Ange probably, Ange probably made the right call waiting for their beat to finish before we beat aggressively. But I misunderstood the call. I, I heard that we're gonna, I heard right as the EMP went off, let's go, beat in aggressively, let's go. So I went in. And that that actually probably cost us the game, or that, that round right there. We probably could have won that round. So backstory on this, this is what our comp we've pretty much been running, except the Reaper, we've been running Cass as well. This is the comp we had mostly been running. Actually, no, we did run Reaper actually. We ran Reaper Torb because of the last game we played, Reaper and Torb seemed really strong, so we were giving them a try. Um, in the in the semifinals, so we were we were giving that a shot because we thought Torb was actually OP. So we bait wall. I kind of wanted to go aggressive on the wall, but we called it to poke them out because we do have better poke. But I think that with Reaver, maybe we should have still went in. I'm not totally sure on that. They TP behind ML cleanses us. I think Muma builds a shatter in like 0.2 seconds here. There it was. And then this is tragic. This is so tragic right here. I missed their Moira by like millimeters. I was that was so close. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Either confident it wasn't gonna hit or didn't see it. Didn't see it. Didn't even react really, but so we could have we could have caught their Moira with that. But it was close. That right there though could have probably flipped it. But we're on the back foot now. Our Cole comes out a little bit later than theirs. See their diva? Their diva just flies in all the time. So I pin the diva. And then they collapse hard, but I get out. They try to wall it to get them to play aggressive. ML cleanses me again. Anj beats, which is huge. Cyrus is popping on the Reaper. Pin the Lucio. We put this fight. This is they. They did it. See, realistically, they honestly just like you can tell the difference between us, a bunch of ladder rats. Uh, and well, and Cyrus, and too, but like they actually play like in contenders. But the other four of us are just a bunch of ladder rats. You can tell that how different we are with our experience levels based off of this fight because they all recognized that in the middle of the fight, that even though they were still fighting and they needed to keep fighting, that. See, look at the point's been open for a while, but they finally now see the opening as we get aggressive that they can actually use it to fall back and cap at the same time. So not only did they use it to, not only do they cap because they need a cap to get points, but they chose the time where we were also going to get aggressive, so they fall back into it. So we have to fight twice to take away their, their space. Even though we end up winning the fight, we end up burning some ults because we use them later. Like, they used ults first, and they caught point first. We just made some good plays and, and ended up taking it back. But realistically, we could have had the point first if we had played it better, you know? Like, they got a free 21% off of us, even though we won. Um, so our call is to play left side here. I say don't give them a fucking inch. Uh, my call is we don't give them an inch. So Muma actually goes for the shatter here, but I had the same idea. So Cyrus and me went deep. 
We trade shatters. We end up winning the fight. <coughs> but that's basically my call right there. So Emong makes the call right here. No, is it right here? No, it's next fight. So after the next fight, Emong makes a call. Let's see. So again, I'd say the same thing. Don't give them a fucking inch. What if they walk into us? They walk into us. They may wall me. The diva goes behind. ML's doing a great job of keeping me alive. Cyrus popping. Emong's in. Me and Emong make the call on the Reaper. Okay, so Emong makes the call here. Emong makes the call that we only have bomb and they have a bunch of ults coming online, which is pretty much true. They have one, two, three, four, five ults, pretty much. Um. Emong makes the call that we need to bomb their fucking spawn and catch them before they come out. So, there's a timing right here. It's like three, two, one, send it. So, he makes the call we need to fucking go. And to be honest with you, it's not a bad call. But unfortunately, they're really disciplined. And, for example, Landon didn't uh, fade out of spawn. A lot of people... And, and you'll know in your own ranked games, you'll fade out of spawn to get there faster. We did actually fade out of spawn, but, but he, they recognize the need to back up. Watch. He doesn't fade out the second time, though. Once his, his, ult, his cooldowns back up, fades back out. So instead of fading out again, like, like <coughs> they recognize that they, they, they were going to get pushed. That's actually even crazier. They recognize they were going to get pushed in spawn just by us looking at them. Um... So they all have their cooldowns to survive. Diva flies away. Lucio gets caught, actually, but he's the only one who didn't have a cooldown. But they still have the five ults. So they, they kind of flip it on us. I got caught down here, so I needed to rotate her away, because I didn't want to go into the blizzard. Cyrus is caught, too. Andre actually comes with me, then has to leave. This, okay. Can I show you guys this really quick? This is the most, okay. A lot of people, and this isn't like an ego thing, a lot of people call me like one of the better, like ladder Reinhardts, like streamers. A lot of people like meme it, like, you know what I mean? Like, say, like, it's, it's, it's by far my best hero, you know? But I've always had this philosophy with certain things, and there's one of them that I have with pins, especially because you can't cancel pins normally, is something called pin lanes. And it's this idea that um, you don't pin at a target, you pin at an area. And the area will have a higher chance of one, you surviving, because you'll point pin from point A to point B. And point B is not a bad position to be in and you can get out. And two, it's a high traffic area. So I actually apply that to this fight right here because I see Emong running. Emong's running, so that means someone's chasing him. And look who I fing catch. And I had to use every ounce of strength in my whole body. To not try to shatter this and be a hero of a 1v3. And I, I I really wanted to turn that corner and hit it. Like the second I turned that corner, if I had if I had made the decision right away, I might have got it before he pinned me. But at the same time though, I I th said to myself that it's the right call to not use it. Okay, so we only need to win one fight. And you know, there's something I really want to see here in a little bit. But they do a great job of putting us really on our, our, our heels here, honestly. They swap to the Doomfist because they want to play more aggressive. We recognize that. Um, so we're trying to make an adjustment to go right. That's not that fight. It was, it was the next fight. I think we made the call that they didn't have Shatter yet. So I played like ultra aggressive for Shatter. By the way, look at how close Jay was to dying. Oh my god. Look at how close, dude, you, the little fucking hairs on his balls were still in that bomb. That they, uh, could not have been any closer. Could not have been any closer on that. Swiping the water off the map? No. Okay, they had a lot of old, I think we ended up just saying like, no, we lose that, we lose that. Um... Although I did get two on the shutter. If I if I locked the counter shutter, I think we might have had a chance, but um, again, that's just it was really hard to read 
hot when the randomly Ryan had shatter in this because the fire strike changes really changed how ult charge uh, was being generated. Like fire strikes really didn't do for ult charge, but you had two of them, you know. Tuma actually got another one there. That was wild, but I couldn't have blocked it anyways. I was in the sky. Getting the mortar off. I thought for sure we could win that fight off of that. So, I actually was screaming this during this, is that the Ryan is one behind. I was kind of screaming that Ryan is one behind, and I feel like we kind of left him, and I don't know if that was the right call. I don't, I don't know if leaving the Ryan was the right call, to be honest with you. To go cap point. Because Muma comes back, and is able to immediately make an impact. And hang on one second. I want, to, I want to just show it one more time. If Muma dies here, this fight actually probably goes way different. You see what I mean? Like, we're kind of all gone past. See, they're off collecting all the megas like Pokemon cards. I think that was my call out. Now this, this play right here could have won the fight. I'll show you it. I want to know, was it on cooldown or did Muma just know? Yeah, it's not on cooldown. Watch this chat. It, we're losing this fight right now. We are losing this fight. There's one play I have in mind. I tried it. I think I thought I actually slept on this last night. I think it's because my angle wasn't threatening enough. Watch this. So I start the charge to try to hope that Muma goes for the counter charge. But Muma doesn't take the bait. So my idea in this is that I'm going to start the charge and instinctually have Muma try to counter charge. Because they're winning the fight, he would probably they'd probably win the stand-up battle. But I don't think I had a good enough angle to be threatening. Because he was too far to the side. And I was hoping that he'd bite on the counter charge. And I'd turn the slam to him. But he didn't bite. That fight that play right there would have won us the point the point. If I got him to bite on that, we would have. It would have been a different fight. We would have won, right there. Because I would have got the Lucio, the Moira, and Ryan. <coughs> well, maybe not the Moira because the Moira faded, but I would have got at least the Ryan, the Lucio, and we likely win that fight, and we likely win this point. So, it is absolutely bonkers how these games come down to such very small minuscule plays now i'm mostly covering only my own stuff um because that's just the stuff i can see the best but like it's just holy 